hello welcome back today we'll see about how to use google finance function to fetch stock data into google sheet let me show you what we want to do in this google sheet so we want to first populate all the stock symbols that are available in nsc so that whichever stock we are selecting accordingly different parameters on that stock should be displayed so if i select tcs you can see here different parameters are displayed so for example in this case we are monitoring price day high day low day volume pe earning per share 52 week high 52 week low now let us understand that how we can provide data validation on this cell where the values are stock symbols of national stock exchange you can see here i have applied validation where the values are coming from the second tab called scripts but here we have not copy pasted the uh, script from nsc website we are directly importing these values using one important function called import data so let us understand that how we can do that so we have to go to this uh, website we visit nscindia.com website we have to go to this uh, market data then go to the securities available for trading and we see very first link called securities available for equity segment so if you click on that uh, csv file will be downloaded and you see many tutorials where they are copying this values into google sheet but we are not going to use that approach rather we are going to directly pull this data into our google sheet so what we have to do is we just copy this link and you can see here what i have done i have used google sheets function called import data so very first I specified the url where this stock symbols are listed and the second parameter is the delimiter and just i hit the enter key and all the values the stock symbols will be displayed now let us understand that how we can apply data validation so whenever i click on this i'll be able to select value that is there in my list so for that we have to select starting from the first cell to the last cell in which we want data validation then go to data then select data validation and here you specify the range in which valid stock values are there so basic, basically it is there in uh, the second tab which is scripts starting from a to cell till the last cell now let us understand how to use google finance function this page shows about help on google finance function and see how we use it so they have given sample usage for example uh, this one which is value of google stock listed on nasdaq exchange and is pulling price in certain date ranges so yes it is possible you can also get historical values and they have given many other examples and we can see about index what other attributes we can observe now let us come back to our google sheet so let us understand that how we can fetch data using this uh, google sheet function called google finance so first let us understand for getting price can see here how i'm fetching price for this infis script so the function is google finance we specify the name of a script 
which is in fee but we want to fetch data for nsc stock exchange so we have to use nsc colon and we have to concatenate this script symbol along with that string so we get nsc colon in fee it will give us uh, various parameters of in fee that's infosys if you specify repro then it will specify the data for repro so here i'm getting price for in fee now what other thing we have done is when b2 cell is empty that is when we have not selected anything from this drop down then it should not display anything in that case it should display empty string if we have selected some script value only in that case it should fetch the value for particular parameter this is for price same way we can get we can get uh, day high day low day volume pe eps 52 week high 52 week low and many other parameters are there if i let us do it for some other script let us select and see here as i type few characters it will show me about possible values select reliance and it will fetch the values related to reliance we are also displaying the timestamp to which all this data refer so that we get idea that whatever values we are seeing these are on which particular day and at which particular time so you can see that that information we can get using this trade time this data is of 24th September 3.30 today is actually 25th September so in India stock exchange is close at 3.30 so that's why we are able to see this data which is the end of the day at 3.30 now let us understand how we can automatically update values of these various parameters you have to go to file then spreadsheet settings go to this calculation and you have to select on change in every minute once we do this at every one minute the formula will be executed and whatever is the current value this value will be pulled into our google sheet now the question is why we should go for this google sheet and we should use google finance function so we already have certain websites and apps which we can get values of these parameters but in those applications sometimes you have to click on some specific button in order to get value of the parameter and not we may not be able to see all the parameters in which we are interested in on screen in google sheet you can create uh, such a sheet where use google finance function and you can pull the values of the parameters in which you are interested you can also use it to create your own portfolio you can also monitor about your uh, profit loss short term loss profit loss or long term profit loss based on the investment you have done so it's very useful function you can use it for different purposes related to